welcome to the last session in the addition and subtraction strategies and this is virtual session number 11 place value you break apart so our focus today is going to be on um, the place value break apart strategy and um, many of you call it different things and actually throughout many of the strategies we've done we have focused on place value but I really wanted to take some time to discuss how um, students and teachers are engaging in this strategy. Um, I find that it is one many of our teachers are using as they work through um, different addition and subtraction strategies. So I didn't start with this one. Um, I really wanted to start with some things perhaps that you weren't familiar with, but I felt it was critical that um, I share this as well just so you can see that yes, this is a really valuable strategy. And once again, this strategy really um, focuses on properties, place, value, and inverse relationships. In particular, um, you'll see that place value is a big emphasis. Um, and once again, kids are reasoning about the quantity of the numbers. They're just not thinking about the digits within the numbers. Um, and you'll see how that comes into play. All right, so with a place value break apart, we can think about it as just looking at our place value. So, for example, um, we could think of this as 30 plus 60, three tens and six tens. And then we can also think of it as 7 plus 2. So by breaking it apart into place value, we would think of this as 30 plus 60 equals 90, and 7 plus 2 is 9. And then if we add that together, that would equal 99. All right, so let's try this one. We're adding. We have 400 plus 300. Okay, and we can start with the hundreds or with the ones, as long as you're strategic in remembering what place values you've identified. Okay. So we have 700 plus 80 and 10. 700 plus 80 is 780 plus 10 more is 790. Okay, so all of our hard work with place value is really being applied. Okay, so students can use the same procedure using um, subtraction. So this could be thought of as 300 minus 200, 70 minus 20, and 9 minus 5. So as we do the subtraction, and kids are really good with place value because we've worked hard on that in our NBT domain. So now we can see that 100 plus 50 plus 4 equals 154. Is it reasonable? Well, let me take a look. 200 plus 100 would be 379. Yes, it is reasonable. Okay? All right, let's take a look at a few student examples. And you'll notice that um, these examples are not exactly like the same strategy that I showed you in my process of setting up the place value break apart. Um, and that's okay. We don't want this to become a lot of steps and procedures that we're following, but rather students are going to make sense of it in different ways. Um, but it's about understanding the quantity and the operations clearly. So let's take a look. What I did to figure out the question is I took I took the 42 and I broke it apart. I did 40 and then under the zero on 40 I did a 2. And then by 40 and 2, I did a plus and a plus. And then I did 30 by the plus. And then I did a 6 by the 2. So where do you the see the 42? Right here. Okay. 40 and 2. Okay. And how about the 36? Right here, 30 and 6. Okay. And, um... Then I put an equal sign right here and right here. And I like to um, start with the ones because it's easy. It's easier for me when if you if I ever have to regroup. Two plus six equals eight. And forty plus thirty equals seventy. 
and if I put 70 and 8 together, it equals 78. And what um, I like to do is I put this at the bottom. They had... Seven D eight dollars. First, I'm going to write my answer sentence. Question. Now I'm going to break it apart. So I know think? that 40 plus 20 equals 60, and that 8 plus 7 equals 15. And then I know that um, 15 is like a 10 and a 5. Then I'm going to add the 60 and the 10, and that equals 70. And then the 70 and the 5, and that equals 75. He wrote 75 miles. equals a 10, and then 80 plus 10 equals 90, and then I knew that 90 plus 10 equals 100. I'm going to start out with a pink sentence for this problem. He had had blank point what? And I call it a pink sentence because um, when we do this stuff in my classroom, my teacher uses her pink marker. Um, what I did is I did 40, 400, and I broke it. It's called breaking apart. And then there's a 60. I put the 60 under the first to zero, and I take away that five, and then I put the five under those two zeros. And then I put a, a minus on each one. You have 232, so I do the same thing, 230. So tell me how you know you're subtracting 232. Where do you see that? Um, I see in the question it says 
then he crashed and lost. And I like to start on the ones because if you have to regroup, um, it's easy. Five minus two equals three. 60 minus 30 equals 30. And 400 minus 200 equals oops, 200. Here, let me erase that. There. 200. And what you have here, does this make sense? 233. If that, if it makes sense, that would be your answer. So, in your pink sentence, you would write in the blank spot, 2, 3, 3. And there's your answer. First, I wrote my 300 and. 40, and then I wrote my plus, and then I wrote a blank line because I didn't know what the it was going to equal. Then I wrote my equal sign, and then I wrote the answer, and then I went back to figure it out, and I did 3 plus 3 equals 6, so I did 3, and then I did... 40 plus 10 equals 50, so then I wrote a 10, and that's how I got my answer. All right, so I hope you enjoyed those student examples, um, and really notice that the power of understanding the inverse operation for subtraction is really helpful, and you could see that as they um, integrate place value strategies um, within the student examples. All right, and just remember that you can find all of these addition and subtraction strategies videos um, at the URL provided here, along with the related resources. Thank you so much for joining me, and have a great day.